we have a question from Michael. And this is going to be a hard question for me to answer because there's so many things that I don't like about this question. My son Jack is a competitive basketball player. He's 14 years old. Well, when you say competitive basketball player, uh, I met, uh, of course, you know, I, I worked with the NBA for a while, and uh, my favorite line of all time comes from Bill Walton. And somebody asked him why he didn't retire, and he said, it's the only place I can get a game. Um, so when you say your son's competitive basketball player, uh, I mean, as long as he's getting a salary, I, I will agree to help him any way you want. He is 14 years old and needs to get stronger to compete at this level. As you know, today's youth sports seasons seem to never end. Right. And that's why there's a real good chance no one in the league is going to play is ever going to make it very far because they're not, they're doing uh, sports specific training too, too young. Remember, Yuri Sadiq, world record holder in the hammer throw, told me at lunch, at lunch, at lunch, what elite is. And that's someone who improves every single year. John Powell, world record holding the discus, adds in, yeah, and if you're not world class after single specialization in two to three years, you're not good enough. Tommy Kono said about the same thing. If you're not uh, world class in two or three years, this probably isn't for you. So part of the problem with early sports specialization is that the clock starts ticking. I mean, if you want your kid's clock to start, you want the, you know, you want a, a wall full of trophies that all say middle school, get them focused early. But if you want a wall full of trophies that are from division one or the pros, you might want to push it off. And I, I, Michael, I know I'm coming off as a jerk, but you're hitting me right in an area that I'm very sensitive about. Um, since today's use seems to never end, he hasn't been able to train intensely with weights consistently for the past six months or so, even in COVID times. In June, July, August, he'll get some time off from basketball. So he's hoping to improve his strength, speed, and quickness during those months. What type of lifting do you recommend for him over those months? Well, I mean, in those three months, he should learn the Olympic lifts and he should learn the power lifts. And the learning will be everything he needs to know for strength. Um, also, should he lift in the morning and work on speed and agility in the afternoon? No. Uh, well, you're going to do it anyway. I don't think you should do it. I think you should... I think he should lift weights and then have some fun with his friends. Or is it better to lift one day and sprint the next? At 14, it doesn't matter. He, he has so much recovery ability at 14 that he can do everything all day long, like I did at 14. And the one thing I never had at 14 when we were playing all summer long is anybody coaching us. So we played baseball, we played basketball, we got at our, at our neighborhood, we had track meets, which are hilarious. We just invented our own. Um, we did these weird, uh, military based games because, you know, I was a military family and yeah, uh, uh, hide and go seek, hide and go seek and the game tag might be the most important hunter gatherer games, you know, I hope, I hope your son Jack never has to play hide and go seek, mm -hmm. but if he ever is in a situation where he has to hide to save his life, the training in hide and go seek will carry him over much better than agility drills. Uh, Michael. Get him to lift weights, power lift, Olympic lift, learn the basics, learn the basic foundational exercises of the weight room. And, you know, there's a, there's a, you know, <laughs> curl and tricep extension, leg extension, all that nonsense. But just get him in and have lift weights and, and make sure you sit down every day and make sure that you're not burning them out too early. I know what I'm saying is not nice. It's not popular. But boy, is it true. All those guys that were superstars when I was young, growing up in middle school and junior high. The bulk of them never even played uh, varsity sports, or if they did, they were they were the guys on the sidelines dinking around the whole time, talking about middle school for sports. So, I, don't know, I know that's negative, but I, I'm sorry. Uh, let me know what you decide. Thank you.